Hello and welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. This is a kind of unsupplied un this is an unexpected video. I didn't expect to be filming anything today, especially not this. I've noticed the original car when moving it up and down my drive, the speeder wasn't working or the odometer wasn't climbing. I've got enough room on my drive to get up at least five mile five ten mile an hour. So it should even you know it should make it um, move but obviously obviously not it didn't move so that led me to believe either the speedo was broken, which I've tested it. I've, I've tested the speedo and the odometer, and that, that all worked. When, as soon as you move the, as soon as you move um, the speedo drive cable or not the cable itself, but the drive on the back, as soon as you do that, the speedometer moves up and down. So and the, and the od odometer climb gains mileage. So I know that works. So the next step would be um, checking the speedo cable. So after you. I couldn't really do it but it's still connected to the gearbox, so yeah. I've been underneath the car, the car's actually still on ramps at the minute. You might be able to tell possibly, but anyway, so the car's on ramps. I unplugged the cable from the gearbox, it took a while to find it, but I found it. And once I unplugged it from there, I noticed on that end it was spinning freely. I could turn it by hand, it would you know, spin nice and free. So I come back into the car and I noticed uh, where it plugs into the back of the um, instrument cluster, it was jammed, it wouldn't it's not moving. You can turn it and it's been and it's been back to where it was. So obviously the cable is at fault. So it shouldn't be too hard to change that, but that will be quite a long job, I imagine. Now we'll obviously film the rest of that as well. I'll take you outside under the car in a minute and show you that. But the next part of this video will be when I've actually um got the new speedo cable itself. So it's just, like I said, I wasn't planning on filming this part, but I have found the fault already. I thought, it bit, I thought it might take a while to find the fault, but I think I found it already. I'm going to um, show you the um, whole fault, whole fault, um, fault now, and then um, show you the rest later on. But yeah, so the speedo cable is definitely at fault, so now I've got to work out how to get it out, out of the car. Alright, okay, so you can see the speed, speedometer cable here. I'm going to just clamp down with my five grips. Let's see, I'm turning it, and it wants to move back. If I actually, it might be better if I actually line up perfectly, or well, not perfectly, but more centrally. It's kind of hard to see at the moment. I'm looking at the camera. Alright, you see, I'm turning it, and it just wants to, if I show you, I'm not doing it myself. I'm turning it, and it just wants to spring back. Alright, it shouldn't want to spring back. If I turn it, right, I'm turning it. You can notice how much it wants to spring back. Again, I'm turning it by hand, it just wants to turn back by itself. And this, the other end of this cable is disconnected from the gearbox. It's not connected to anything. So, I think that leads me to, to believe this cable is broken. So, I'm going to go underneath the car and I'll show you. The other side. Okay, and here's the other end of the cable. I'm not going to touch it as it's all greasy, but I can guarantee you it does turn. I have turned it by hand, and that plugs in. Can I show you? Uh, just up here, somewhere. You might better see it or not on camera, I'm not too sure, but it literally just plugs up along here. Well, along here somewhere. I don't know, it's along here somewhere, but it definitely plugs in there. So I've got to go and unplug all the neat one boat all of these and we'll put it free from the car. You put our hands down here. So this is the reason we'll put it there filter off. Again, I need to get down here and get this cable out. It's very quite tricky when to get out actually. I'm actually using a bit of brute force I think unfortunately. And um, if I do that it might mean accidentally breaking something. Not accidentally, because it would be brute force, it would be a... Uh, try to break it on purpose really, but I think they actually just due to what type of um, fitting it is. Right, it's been released. I'm going to do it for larger for that bit of time. Not recorded, but or, not being shown, but that's out. be interested to know when it actually broke. But. We're not ever going to find that out, which I'm going to have to find out where it broke. 
All we need to know is that it broke. Move you around to this side now. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see, but I should try my best to throw you in there before. So, right down here, actually, we can actually move this motor out of the way now. That's better, look at that. So, the motor can move out of the way. We need to be right here. Okay. Yeah. Control you to do a full A bit. I need to get to where you are, if you're all the way. You still can't see it yet. On the floor down there, it's the old broken speeder cable. We actually got removed, so that's now out of the car. And the new one is ready to go. I'll be doing that on a different day now, as I have to go out. So um, that will get done on a different day, but that cable's broken and out of the way. On the end, just down there. So the rubber will gone, gone, the rubber will be actually cut off in the end, or I cut off in the end. I, I couldn't get it through, so. I cut that one off, and the new one I think I have to push through and pull tight, but yeah, the old one I didn't need, so I cut off. Okay, so I'm back with the um, speedo cable part of the video. It's starting to go dark now, so hopefully I can get it done before it does. If not, it'll be carried on to a different day again. I've been doing quite a few videos today, so quite quite a few. But I have the new speedo cable, or flexible shaft, whatever you want to call it. Now, when ordering this, I had to, I had to double check with Mercedes because I wasn't too sure that they called it this. It's quite a weird, weird name. You'd, you'll never guess what they call this name. So I had quite a big laugh about when I saw this. And um, so did a few other people. It's a extremely weird name to call an item. I've been there and I've had many items bought from them. <laughs> but nothing has ever had such a weird name as this. And I'll show you here. It is called this. I've got it on the paperwork as well, on the invoice. Try not to laugh when you see what this speedo cable is called. 
see if I can show you right here. Right there, can you see it? Bending wave. This is called a bending wave. Hmm. I wonder in the factory. I wonder um, when I was naming the parts. I wonder who named this part and why they named it a bending wave. Maybe they bent, bending wave when they're going past someone there. Bent wave. Maybe the hand bent when I was waving. So the, if, if for example, I sold a car, this car on, for example, and the, I had in the description, that person's going to cut. And they're going to come up to me and ask, what is, what is a bending wave? And I'm going to stand there and try not to laugh. That's going to be quite hard. You know, going through the paperwork. Oh, you've had a new bending wave installed in your car. Yes, I have had a new bending wave installed. Oh, it does work. Hmm. I understand where to get the name from now. Yeah, a bit weird. I'm trying to keep it here, but yeah. It definitely works. So I've not been filming too much in this, it's not been too much to film really. So the bending wave is through the foil. I've connected the rubber grommet down there, you see. So it then goes underneath here, down here. And it comes out. Um, can you see it? Just there, look. Can you see the end of it? And that comes out just there. It still works. And it then goes all the way back down to this side down here. And I'll leave you through the car. Now, I do not know how much you're going to be able to see from that angle. If you can new one on me, even. You're literally standing on the engine. Count yourself lucky. Now, we're going to simply pull this table through. Hopefully. And I don't know what you can see here. If anything. I thought I'd try and let you see what exactly I'm doing. I need to get onto the car a little bit myself. Oh, I'm going to stand on the ramp. And you see... The other, other bung is just about here. Now, what I'm going to do actually, oh, I don't know um, how to do this really. I mean, I know how to do the actual job itself, but what I mean is, do I put the speedometer back in first like I planned? I think I do, yeah. I'm going to put the speedometer back in first and I'll bring you back on the outside of the car in a minute. Okay, you're actually hanging by the camera strap. Great. Never done this before. Not a bad a camera, camera angle actually. Quite good. So, free the steam will turn it off again. Right. Put this in here, like so. I'm gonna pull my seat forward a little. So, I'm going to have to grab every single wire. Actually, why am I not doing that first? Getting every single wire we need first. Like this, so I know which one we need. That comes out. That needs to come out as well. There we go. All the wires should be here. And now it's time to reassemble. Normally you'd, you'd take this thing off, but I can't be able to get to the, I can't be able to do the nut off. 
and it needs not even be a right pain to get off. Right, I believe we can um, push with him. As you do, I'll leave that out. I do want to take that fin out, but I think we're going to have to do that too today. Push you in at the top. Yep. Yeah. Roll it up. It's good. I'm gonna turn you off. I'm not turn you off. I'm gonna move you back round to the other side. Okay, so we're back. Outside the car. Speed is all connected, so I'm push it back down again. Pull this one up. So you got to come doing it in a minute. You do it in a minute. Right. Pull this back through again now. Okay, I'm trying to feel this rubber on this cable and it's got quite a long way through this bulkhead. Now, time to go underneath the car and plug it into the gearbox. I'm definitely going to show you that, it's going to be quite hard, but I'll show you what I've done after. But filming is going to be quite hard. It's a different day, I think it's time to finish off the endings to a few videos. I'm going to do more today. But, so, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Hopefully, you've, you found me in changing this, this beautiful motor cable, sorry, the bending wave. If they're helpful, I mean, um, if you're bending away from these changing, you know how to, well, you know where to do it. I'm probably not the best person to follow, but at least you know how to change your bending wave for future reference. I mean, I might have to do the bending wave for my other car now. Um, Nick one's showing up a little bit, so I might get that one done myself. So. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me change my speedo cable on this car. It's right, bending wave, it's right, bending wave. Hopefully you found it all helpful, and um, if you did help, please um, like and subscribe to my channel. So if you like and subscribe, help you see this channel grow. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Ooh, it does work.